three, two, one. <laughs> from Glasgow today so that's why uh, I'm dressed like this and, and I've been working on the car today which is why I'm dressed like shit as well <laughs> I hope you can't hear that there's honestly the most seagulls I've ever seen in my life but anyway anyway yeah yep. so last year we had our cheap car challenge to it was a year ago today was that a year ago today that we or a year ago tomorrow where we did the lap oh really wow yeah so this year we decided we were going to do the North Coast 500 and we were going to buy cars for and modify them for under or up to 500 pounds yeah so it's north coast 500 miles for On, 500 pounds yeah we could both afford a car this time yeah so we're going for two cars we don't know what each other's bought and we don't know what the, what each other's done no to the cars but so this will be the first time that we see each other's car i'm gonna ask jamie right. to run over we'll and get his we'll car. Get my car he's gonna get his car my and car he's first. gonna drive it over oh, here right. it's gonna take a while but okay Oh, he's coming. So I've got to look away now. So I'm going to describe what do I hear? What do I feel? Oh, oh, hmm. So I think it's a manual. Because I heard him shifting. I think it's a petrol. Oh, it's very silent. It's very quiet. I can hear lots of keys. I've just heard, I've just heard the door close. Sounds pretty high quality. Shall I, shall I make a guess first before okay. I turn around? I think it's German. Alright. But we'll soon find out. Right, you can turn around and have a wee look. <laughs> <laughs> look at those stripes, man. Is that really a V8? It sounded like a four-cylinder. So I've put down the I've put down the blinds so you can't really see inside yet. Yeah. For suspense. But okay. you can have a look around it and see what you think from the outside first. That is some so car. You know that is exceptional. Do I have a look? NC500s. Yeah, yeah. I think the flames are good. You think so? Yeah. But I didn't have any orange. Oh wow. What's the engine? Um, V8. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, it's mechanically sound. Right, get your car, Michael. So you want to take this? I'll take this. He's away running to get his car. Under what he's got. Oh, I, I can hear an engine. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> I can hear the toot. <sighs> I really don't want to see what it is yet. I don't want to ruin it. Right, my eyes are closed. They're closed, they're closed. They're closed and I'm covering them. Just don't reverse into me. What has he got? What has he got? Oh boy. Wait, right, don't we need to turn around? Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? What is this? Michael, what the? Michael, your bed looks good. It's actually not that good. You've got, you have actually put up curtains. Have you actually put up curtains? Oh my god, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Where did you get the curtains from? For free? No, I bought them. No way. £10. Man. No way. And it, well, I had to re-sew them. How did you get a the... lot of sewing. Michael, what the hell is this? Did it come with the top box? Uh, no, I, I got You that. bought one? I got that for free. Oh my Gumtree. god. Here's my fully functional spoiler. Let me talk you through <laughs> how that is made. Oh my god. So, so you made it? Well, where did you make it? I got this polystyrene. Right. Someone was giving away polystyrene. Yeah, it was like polystyrene, it was like floor insulation. Right, okay. And then I looked online, polystyrene infused epoxy resin and it melts. <laughs> so I thought, I'll just paint it blue. And I painted it and then it melted. That's that's why so it's is this melted. Rough. Is this in its melted state? Yes, it is, yes. But it's fully functional. It's still not holding it on. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, after, after last night's um, quick introduction to the challenge, we're now. We're um, filled up with fuel. We're filled up with fuel, yeah, ready to go. A brief overview of what we're doing. It's the North Coast 500, mm -hmm. 500 miles. I would drive 500 miles and I would drive 500 more. We've got 500 miles and our cars cost £500 to buy and to modify the looks but also to make it so that we can sleep inside the car. Yeah. 
part of this challenge is that we want to sleep in the car, bring costs down mm -hmm. um, for five nights, I think. We're going to be sleeping in our cars. So five nights? Four nights, maybe? Four nights, four, four nights five Tuesday, nights. Tuesday, Wednesday, three nights? <laughs> Tuesday three night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, back on Friday. Back on Friday, okay, three nights. <laughs> three nights. <laughs> I don't know if there's really much else to say. We'll, we'll, show the car, we'll show what we've done in the cars a little bit later on. Yeah, but so that, that's one thing where we're going to show you guys around the cars and just see all the modifications we've done inside, but because it's so busy, yeah. we think we'll do that later. So are you, are you ready for the challenge? I'm ready, yet. Yeah. I think it's going to be the most uncomfortable three nights of my life, <laughs> man. But it'll be fun. It's going to be covered in midges. Yeah, this is like the killer, <laughs> the killer <laughs> of insects. Black. It's going to be all black with midges. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I'll go. Talkie. Yeah. Roger, Roger. 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 <laughs> Away we go. Oh, I've got to turn my engine first. <laughs> There's a pigeon right in front of my car. I think I killed it. I think I'm recording audio and video. I don't care. Recording. We're having technical issues. We're quite new to this whole filming thing, so. Alright, guys. Right, Mike, are you ready to go then? I've got a leaf. I've got a leaf in my car. Let's go! This is going to sound terrible because I'm eating a breakfast bar. So, what I've got is a, a Ford Focus uh, 2001. You see, I bought this car for about. It was for an unknown amount of time. So, you weren't recording any of what you were saying? Pretty much, but then I haven't really said anything that important anyway. I can't believe what you've done to it. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I've got a Ford Focus. Got about 100 and, 110 horsepower, I think it is. I can't remember if that's the horsepower or if that's the top speed. Nothing's going to stop this holiday now. It's green lights all the way to Glencoe. And we're stopped at a red light. How's your car holding up? Fine. Yours. Mine's okay, it's a bit noisy, but it's alright. You didn't know about the driven out a quarter of a mile, Michael. But anyway, what I was saying, car mechanically sound, nothing wrong with it. Um, everything works, apart from some things. Yeah, you didn't buy it to my, my audio quality for all the, the blower motor. It's going to be quite loud. This is going to be a nightmare, man. We're about a quarter of a mile in and we keep interrupting each other. We've driven literally about two minutes. I've just realised my curtain is like right in front of the rear screen. I can't see anything. It's not raining yet, although it's, we're expecting very heavy rain later, which is not good because my windscreen wipers don't really work. So I bought a car for a trip to Scotland where the windscreen wipers don't really work and the front tyres are quite bald, so. It's not really the best car for wet weather. We're coming up to a roundabout now. This gives me an opportunity to demonstrate the enormous power that I've got on tap. Here we go. 60 miles an hour. Oh. We went to Loch Lomond, a lovely, lovely sunny day. I don't know what speed I'm doing because my speed was uh, stopped working. So I'm doing zero mile an hour all the time. Yellow, yellow warning for heavy rain forecast, and I don't think Michael's shown you, but his wipers aren't very uh, good. In fact, is that some rain I can see falling now? The car's holding up well, there's no creaks, no rattles to report, everything is good. Everyone says the Mark 1 Focus is, is a very, very good car. You know, it's 158, but I can't even see how many miles it's done because the odometer's stopped working as well now. But it's on 157,000 miles and it's fine. 
The only thing is the radio doesn't, well the radio probably works but I don't know what the code is. So I've got no, no radio for this strip. It's going to be very, very interesting to see how this first night goes. Could be one of the most uncomfortable nights of my life. It's a 1.3 engine. I think it gets 92 horsepower or something like that, which I think is quite good for the size. The engine is probably the best thing about this car. I know that I've said that, that's the bit that's going to break. But at the moment, the engine's probably the best bit. The steering is electric, so it gives you basically no feel at all. The only feeling that you get is when you go above 70 mile an hour, there's quite a unsettling amount of wheel wobble. But I think that's a safety feature that Suzuki have put in um, to keep your speed down. Plus the fact that I've added quite a lot of weight and I've got the roof box which is creating a lot of drag. It means this car is not that fast, but most of the time where we're going it's going to be 60 mile an hour limits anyway, so in some senses it's probably the perfect car. As far as I can tell, all the electric stuff works. So the speakers work, electronic adjustment mirrors, pretty good, and they work. My lights work, my power windows work on the front, my central locking, really noisy, but it works. The CD player works, the fan works, no air conditioning, but it's only Scotland, how hot can it get? My radio works, and that's kind of it. It doesn't really have any more features than that, to be fair. Oh, the all-important 12-volt socket, that works. I'm going to go ahead and say that that's Loch Lomond. It's the best scotch lake in the world. Still heading towards uh, Glen Coe. Loads of mountains. Um, I should probably know what a lot of these are, what mountains these are. It's probably Ben Lomond there somewhere. Michael's a little bit concerned though, about his uh, about his tires because he's only got like one good tire. The rest are barely legal. Um, I've got four new tires, so I'm all good. I'm all good for the rain. I'm not sure how far away we are actually. Maybe it says we'll be there in about 50 minutes. Um, Mitchy beats already. Right, we are ready to go again. We're just, we just stopped at the Green Welly pub. Pub? Green Welly stop. Jamie's just giving me a nice hand gesture to let me know that I'm still his best friend. So, King's House. And that is where we'll get our late lunch. Good to go. Here we go. Whoa. Humpy. Hang on, Michael. Oh. Just to get my crisps. And Jamie's lost already. You still coming? Oh, God's sake. <laughs>